So when I heard about 48 Hour Film Project, I was immediately all in. It was very exciting. It was completely new. It was like, I don't think when we went into it, we really understood like what it means to make a film in 48 hours. It has become just an amazing part of my life in year. I check my calendar again. I had no idea if it was something that we were going to do more than once. But I did not think it was going to be something that would be a part of my life for 15 years to follow. <laughs> Just remember that they're dead was one of those things where zombies were fresh, quote unquote, in everybody's mind. Ben had a an idea for a buddy film that wasn't quite what the film was, but it was like those beginning ideas. To me, it delivered as a film, and it just delivered everything I needed as a creative person. It, it delivered this whole new family of filmmaking friends. That's where we brought in Jace Green for the first time. That's where Jen really got involved in it for the first time. That movie is so special to me. I don't know if I would have called it a zombie apocalypse. It was more of a zombie inconvenience. Ethel in Nashua, you've dialed the right number. I got some dead people here, my God. You have dead people walking around in your garden. Yeah, they're trying to pick at the tomatoes. It's not that bad. Old hot dog water. Maybe I am just a fool, I guess. Well? had to come up with ways to have a bloodless murder. I definitely remember Jen saying something along those like, I hope the FBI doesn't look at our search history. Bloodless Crime was a turning point for us because it was the last film that we did in New Hampshire. Ben and PJ had reached back out and said, hey, we're going to do Boston. I was a little nervous, but I think we kind of made ourselves known right out of the gate with Dawn is a New Death. We arrived on the scene with a bang. <laughs> One take, by the way. One take, choke on nuts. To be in an environment where there's so much support and kindness is a pretty amazing experience. Time, Time travel. I know, pretty sick, right? <sighs> it was just great to be able to kind of put the camera and tell the story with the camera. Don't worry about sound, don't worry about lines of dialogue. There's some level of difficulty telling a story um, that's silent. How can we still make jokes? How can we still be us without talking? Of all the pilot group movies that I was in, or, or even the 48 movies, that was one that um, is very special to me. The heroics was what we kept saying over and over again is this is our pandemic film. Yeah, every team was dealing with that, but every person was dealing with the pandemic. All team members must be masked. And hide this perfect jawline? Yeah, right. Let us not forget that the cardiovascularly challenged our people too. They're just dead. I'm leaving, I'm moving, the fog is too thick, I can hear them. I am not talking about zombies. Please, if you'll just hear me out. We're doing a retrospective series telling stories about how we learned to deal with the dead. No way! No way! This project needs you, Simon. You coined the term zombie inconvenience. I was using air quotes when I said that, and surprise, surprise, people started getting eaten to death. Ten years later, after Just Remember That They're Dead, we draw a mockumentary again, and we have a chance to do Life with the Dead. Just to be able to go back to this world that was so special to us, that was a really cool opportunity. It was a really creative way to tell that story. We've definitely done our best filmmaking in Boston. They really um, embraced us in that city. I really feel seen in Boston. And the winner is... It was a shock that we won because it was like, that was just a movie for us. We didn't 
really know if it was going to mean anything to anybody else. All right, we did it. Now, what do we do from here? Get Your Hands Dirty was kind of our homage to sports. We all really know the cliches and the way things sound and the way things look in a sports production. It hits everything you'd want out of a mock sporting event. You have these serious commentators, you have some great actors, and Ira and Aaron. I did get to play the referee. Ozzy Andrews now spending some time with that letter from Martin Shatternick, really taking it to heart. Winner! Can you believe it? 2023, Boston, and this one gets very close. The bronze medal, second runner up, you make me want to rock! The last three or four years, Ben has said to the team, I don't know if we can keep topping it, and we keep topping it. No one has the, the passion like Pilot Groove does, and Ben and PJ, like, they bring that energy, and that energy is contagious. amount of focused energy that comes together from our team. People giving up their weekends, giving up everything that they've got going on, making that the whole world for 48 hours, uh, it's humbling.